Hello friends, welcome to the Floaty Lady channel. Today we're going to look at the Bronx V2. We did an unboxing and review of the Bronx V1 and we were super happy with it. So they sent us another. Here's the Bronx V2. Let's check it out. The Bronx V2 is made by Hummingbird Rotary. You can find it on BigWaspTattooSupply.com. Use code FLOATYLADY for your 15% discount. Uh, so let's open it. Looks like they sent us a green one. It comes in blue, green, gray, gold, and red. So some accessories here for the Bronx V2. We have uh, the battery, lithium ion battery, charger, cord, some rubber bands, and this is the RCA adapter. So you can either use the battery or connect the adapter to the Bronx and shorten it quite a bit, take this entire battery off. So positive side down. So that's the V2 with the battery in it. Looks like the V2 is a little different in the end here. The grip is a little more uh, angular. I think the V1 is a little thicker, right? So one of the obvious differences here between the V1 and V2 is the grip. Um, the grip on the V2 seems to have a little more of an angle to it. It's a little thinner at the base. So you're gonna get a little easier of a grip there. Uh, with that angle, I think, than on the V1. So I think that was probably an improvement for most people. Um, if you have larger hands, though, and you like a bigger grip, I think, you know, you might actually like the V1 a little better because I do like uh, a larger, heavier uh, grip. So the V1 has a 46 gram grip and the V2 has a 38 gram grip. So uh, just slightly lighter than uh, the V1 there. I do wonder if I can interchange these because the body style doesn't look like it's changed. Yeah, so it fits right on there. Boom, there you go. That's pretty cool. So the ends are the same size. Uh, there is a, a difference here though I'm noticing in uh, the amount of metal that's in the end of the V1 versus the V2, if you look closer. Um, you'll notice that this segment here is quite a bit thicker uh, than this segment. Maybe they're trying to lighten the tip of the machine. So let me just see how much these weigh. 194 for the V1. And 191 for the V2. So just three grams uh, lighter, not that much difference. On the V2, it does seem like uh, there have been some changes to make it lighter overall. Uh, the inside part seems slightly to have less amount of metal on the inside portion and on the outside portion here on the grip. So definitely a, a lighter machine overall. Um, let's see how much overall. So the V2 is 229 grams where the V1 is 240 grams. Yeah, so they're about 10 grams apart. So if the V1 was a little too heavy for you, you might actually be interested in this V2. I do like how it feels. I feel like I have a good grip on it, a little better than, than the V1 for me personally. Let's see what else they changed here. So I would say the the buttons are larger on the V2, so that's interesting. Maybe a little easier to find them. Uh, they also put this groove around uh, the display panel, maybe to help you also guide your finger to the right spot. So a little bit maybe easier. They also changed the top part here to look a little different. I feel like this is probably a better design just in the 
idea of bacteria possibly getting into surfaces. This one's got more uh, of a texture to it and uh, you're just covering that part anyway. So it's just more of a hassle to clean, I guess, than this one, if I'm being nitpicky. Gonna use this Big Wasp needle here, three round liner, pop that on. And the display here, look. So at a 6.5 volt, it does go up in single volt increments. It's nine volts. So the two main differences between the V1 and the V2 are the nine volt jump start and the OCP overload and short circuit prompt. Other than that, the other features are similar, including the 2000 milliamp battery, the Swiss motor, the 3.5 stroke length, and the operating voltage of five to 11 volts. Okay, that's about all I have to say. Let's put this thing to the test on some silicone. All right, so let's hear that jump start feature in the V2 compared to the V1. We're gonna start this V1 at 6.3 volts. and 6.3 volts on the V2. Again. So you can clearly hear the difference between the V2 and the V1 in the jump start mode. The jump start mode is always on, so it just starts the machine up at nine volts and drops it down to the voltage you're in. This will help you get larger needle grouping started. To put the V2 to the test, we're gonna use this 14 round shader by Big Wasp. Damn, that's a big old round shader. All right, let's start this thing up. No problem. Let's see if it starts up as well in the V1. Starts up. Wish they made the display like the V1. It's a little smaller. All right, let's try it out. Feels really good, looks saturated, feels like it's cutting nicely through the silicone. You just pop that same needle on the V1 at a nine volt. I will say the sound of the motor on the V1 is a little more rattly. I definitely felt more resistance in the silicone on that, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see here that it's a bit patchy. So very similar hand speed, I think, too. Let me just double check that. Yeah, the V2 is clearly piercing the surface a lot faster. More efficiently, I feel like the ink is getting in better. I can move my hand a bit faster. And it seems to saturate the silicone better just off that first little pass there. So yeah, you know, when you get into these larger needle groupings, you can really put these machines to the test. And I think 
uh, definitely with with that uh, larger needle grouping, the V2 is more powerful. So maybe for heavier line work and more saturated pieces, you want to go with the V2. Yeah, so the V2 is definitely an improvement. It's worth the extra 30 bucks, I think. Let's pop in a mag. Here we have a big wasp 15 curve mag. So similar in their performance as far as saturation goes with the mag, uh, what I am noticing is that the pattern for the V2 is a little cleaner, probably because of the more powerful motor. I like the grip on the V2, I do think it's a little more comfortable. So we're not going to get a smooth shade with this because it's a 12 gauge, but you can see the different directions and the patterning here. So for my little doodle here, I feel like this thing does perform really well. It does all the things I need. Stipple shade, uh, mag shading, color packing, lining. I think the V2 is a little better than the V1 in its strength. So if you want to run those higher needle groupings, I would definitely pay that extra money just to get the V2. Okay, that wraps up my review of the V2. You can get it at BigWaspTattooSupply.com. Don't forget to use code FLOATYLADY for your 15% discount. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.